Hi guys, what is up? William here. In today's video, I'm going to show you a very exciting tool called 11 Labs. Previously, I've done some videos around text to speech, but this time you have to check this one out because it is really, really good. The sound is really like a human. And let's just get to some of the examples here. So I'm at their website, 11labs.io. And let's just generate some random text from here. And then it'll start populating some voice. I think that novels that leave out technology misrepresent life as badly as Victorians misrepresented life by leaving out sex. So what do you think on that, on that sound? I think it sound really like a human. So these ones are all pre-made. There are only, uh, I think like 10 to 12. So let's try like a female. And see how that sounds. I think that novels that leave out technology misrepresent life as badly as Victorians misrepresented life by leaving out sex. That sounds also pretty good too. So I think there are more samples. So let's just scroll down on their website. Let's hear one of the news article. Editor's Picks. The biggest opportunity in generative AI is language, not images. The buzz around generative AI today is deafening. Generative AI refers to artificial intelligence that can generate novel content rather than simply analyzing or acting on existing data. No topic in the world of technology is attracting more attention and hype right now. The so you can see, you can, you can hear there's a lot of emotions into those voice where some of the other AI text-to-speech software, they don't have that much emotion in their words. Uh, some of them may have, if you have like, you know, uh, voice styles, uh, for example, coming from the Azure AI libraries, but not all voices would have these sort of like voice styles that you can turn into like a sad voice, cheerful, happy voice, frightening voice, whisper. So I think there's a lot going on here from 11 Labs. So let's hear the storytelling one. <laughs> Holy guacamole. This must be the best joke I've ever heard, Richard. Absolutely sublime. So funny. This is probably the first one that I've heard, like an AI, AI text speech that generate like laughing sound. I think all the other ones are, yeah, I, I've not tried it, but this one is really, it, it does impress me. So I think they've got a lot, lot, a lot going on. I think this is so far the best like English text to speech software I've, I've come up with. I think the only downside or yeah, the only downside is it's only for a uh, US accent English. They don't have UK accent, no Australian accent or other, other languages. So other tools on the text to speech out there, not as human sound voice like 11 laps, but the advantages of the other ones with that, what is they would have the like multi-language, multi-language features in, in their solution. So depending what you need for creating text-to-speech, if your market is purely on US, then yeah, even 11 laps would be really good. But if you have like other channels or languages that you want to use, then you'll probably have to wait a bit for 11 labs to get to the point they can support like all the other languages, like, like Murphy AI, for example, where they support a lot of different languages. So these are the, these are just some of their voices. And if we just log in, just give me a second. All right. I've just logged into their portal. Let's look at their pricing for now. So for the free account, you'll get their use on their platform, but no commercial license use. You have to, I think you have to give attribution to them. You'll get a uh, 10,000 characters per month. But I think the beauty of using 11 labs is that you can actually create your voice, your own voice. So as I speak right now, I'm going to test out the custom voice that's able to regenerate my voice using their AI software. And if you go with the starter plan, you're able to uh, generate 10 custom voices and you'll get 30,000 characters per month and you'll get the commercial license included as part of the plan. So if you need like more, more characters, more hours, 
more characters, uh, custom characters, then you got to move on to the you know, creator plan. And I think they've got all the way up to like growing businesses almost to three hundred and thirty dollars a month. So just depending what you need, I mean, you, you can basically use this to create like a five hundred gig that you want to help those people who create ebooks, but it's not their voice. But if you use Eleven Labs, ask your client to upload some of their voice samples and then help them create an audio book ebook for them. That's going to be a really, really good offer, I think. So I do want to show some of their voices here. So let's say it's Adam or oh, sorry, Anthony. And we're just going to grab some random scripts online, maybe Amazon Kindle. Oh, maybe let's just pick Atomic Habits. This is a good book. Let's see if there's any sort of words we can pick up. So maybe we'll take the first paragraph and then we will put it into 11 Labs. We're going to paste the text inside 11 Labs that we've grabbed on Amazon. So you can't put in too much text. So let's just clean up a bit on the words. So we'll still use Anthony and then we'll hit generate. And most likely it, it will is be... so easy to overestimate the importance of one defining moment and underestimate the value of making small improvements on a daily basis. Too often, we convince ourselves that massive success requires massive action. Whether it is losing weight, building a business, writing a book, winning a championship, or achieving any other goal, we put pressure on ourselves to make some earth-shattering improvement that everyone will talk about. That sounds so good with all the emotions in there. All the the breakpoints like after a comma and a period, those are really in good timing. So what happens if we put this word into, let's say on Microsoft Edge, they have the native text-to-speech. So if we just use the Microsoft Edge text-to-speech. Audio that's... from pre-made slash Antony. So going back to the Amazon site, I'm just going to read it through the Microsoft default text-to-speech and see how it sounds. It's not going to sound bad, but it's not as good as 11 laps. It is so easy to overestimate the importance of one defining moment and underestimate the value of making small improvements on a daily basis. Too often, we convince ourselves that massive success requires massive action. Whether it is losing weight, building a business, writing a book, winning a championship, or achieving any other goal, we put pressure on ourselves to make some earth-shattering improvement that everyone will talk about. I think it's actually quite good as well. So you can play around with the Microsoft Edge one, but coming back to the one on 11 Labs, I think it sounds much more natural. So let's try a different voice. Let's try... Well begun is half done. That's a lady. Courage is not the absence of fear, but simply moving on with dignity despite that fear. I think Joss does sound good, so let's give Joss a try. It is so easy to overestimate the importance of one defining moment and underestimate the value of making small improvements on a daily basis. Too often, we convince ourselves that massive success requires massive action. Whether it is losing weight, building a business, writing a book, winning a championship, or achieving any other goal, we put pressure on ourselves to make some earth-shattering improvement that everyone will talk about. Yeah, also pretty good, I think. So you can you can play around with 11 Labs. I think you can set up a trial account, even the paid version, so they'll give you the first month free. So yeah, feel free to play around with the voice, which one you like. I think the second feature I want to talk about is the voice cloning. And this is the ability to create your own voice here. So for example, I've already created my voice. I've provided three samples of my voice. So what you can do is hit the add instant voice. So you can put in a other name like Alex, for example. And then all you have to do is just upload the audio file. So there's a limitation of each file needs to be under 10 megabytes each. 
and it, it needs to be an audio file. It can't be a movie file, like the MP4, MOV, the extensions. So once you upload those files, then 11 Labs is going to do their magic trick, all their magic stuff, AI, and then to generate your, your own voice. So let's hear how my voice sounds compared to to my my existing voice. So I, I don't have a US accent, but let's see how that really sounds. So I'll hit generate. It is so easy to overestimate the importance of one defining moment and underestimate the value of making small improvements on a daily basis. Too often, we convince ourselves that massive success requires massive action, whether it is losing weight, building a business, writing a book, winning a championship, or achieving any other goal. We put pressure on ourselves to make some earth-shattering improvement that everyone will talk about. So what do you think? If you think that sound like me, yeah, please leave a comment down below. I think when I first heard it, it does sound a little bit like me. But then after hearing like a few more times, there is a difference. I don't know whether that's just I've only provided like three sample voices of myself. But I'm actually quite interested to see the professional cloning, how that one would really work. But again, that's for enterprise plan. I probably won't have access to that. So basically, that's where they, that's the existing features. It's available. They've got this feature called voice design, which I think, yeah, I, I have no clue what it is, but it's soon to be coming soon, February. Well, it's already February now. So in terms of resources, yeah, I think it, it is pretty, it is pretty straightforward. You know, choosing your voice actors. And then you can play with the settings here. So you can play around with the stability and the clarity. So usually I'll just start with default and then you can start tuning to, to other, other parameters based on your needs. So if we are looking at the stability, if we increase this one, it will show more consistent between regenerations. But it can also make a sound a bit more monotone. So I think if you want to be less monotone, then you, you have to drop the stability down. And then clarity, the voice, if you want the voice to be less robotic with those like echo, echo sound, then don't, don't overtune this one. So you, you have to play on your own to see, to get the best sound out of it. So I'll leave a link down below. I don't think, yeah, I'll leave a link down below. This is just a really quick review on 11 Labs, probably one of the best uh, AI text-to-speech human sound uh, voiceover. So this wraps up my quick video on 11 Labs. If you have any questions, please drop a comment down below. Like this video if you found this useful and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.